Hey guys, so this is going to be actually kind of a quick little video, but I wanted to show you guys what it's like to actually own a Mini and to have to deal with some of this stuff on a daily basis. A lot of times what I'm showing you guys is like how-tos and kind of the pretty side of working on your Mini, or at least the organized and very methodical process of working on your Mini and showing all the good parts. But today I just want to point out something. So if you saw my odd jobs video, um, you probably saw me exchange my valve cover. And I did that because the valve cover I had had like nipples on it that I was running through my whole PCV system, but it was adding some additional moisture to that system and into the valve cover. And I just wasn't wild about that. So I switched back to this other valve cover, which is just a backup valve cover I have. But like a boob, I totally forgot that this valve cover needed a little bit more um, spacers on the top here to tighten it down and keep it from leaking. And so the engine block probably looks really shiny to you guys. And the reason it looks so shiny is because it's covered in oil. And I've been driving this for two days like a total dummy and not realizing that the oil was leaking out of my valve cover. So. This is something that can kind of happen to really anybody who has a Mini if they're not careful, um, or if you've got a leak in your gasket around the valve cover. So to resolve this, what I have to do is, one, I'm gonna put the old valve cover back on here because it sits a little bit tighter on here. Two, I'm going to put a new gasket on here. Even though this gasket is technically good, I'm gonna go ahead and switch it out, put a new gasket on it. I've got one in my shop, just clean it, and get something new and good on here. So the first thing that I'm gonna do to fix this is to get my brake cleaner, which I love a lot, and spray all of this oil down and wipe it up real good. Now the reason I like brake cleaner is because it works really well as a degreaser. And I mean, obviously it's made for brakes, but um, it's really strong, gets rid of oil, or at least it helps to get rid of the oil and uh, then I can wipe it off. The thing you'll wanna keep in mind with brake cleaner is that it will take the paint off of things. Um, the paint is already starting to flake on this block because of whatever reason, it just didn't get a good coating when I initially did this. But I'm gonna take this stuff off and get this all cleaned up and then we will replace the valve cover. All right, so that is kinda of tidied up. I mean, it's not perfect, but I'm really not going for perfect right now. I just want to get this oil leak fixed, and then we can go for perfect later on when I do a head replacement. So just about every Mini has two bolts right here, and in this case, I've got these T-tops, so it makes it a little bit easier for me to take this on and off. As you can see, I can just loosen these up, and then the valve cover just comes right off like that. So as you can see around this seam here, I was losing oil. You can kind of see it around the edge of this as well. Sorry, the light's not very good, but you can see it around the edge. And that was my problem. Now, like I said before, this gasket actually isn't bad. It could be reused. Um, and next time I probably would put some gasket sealer on it to help it seal a little bit stronger. But for right now, and for this job to make sure that stuff seals back up, I'm going to set this aside. I'm gonna put a new gasket on. So I'll rub it down with gasket sealer and then I'll stick it to my valve cover and then push my valve cover on here. Let this dry and it creates a liquid tight seal. But I will be keeping this as a backup because it's actually still quite good. And for the longest time I've been using this cork gasket because it's been thicker and I like that it lifts the valve cover off, to, off a little bit. But Seven Mini Parts just started selling a gasket that's made out of silicone, so it's gonna last a lot longer, and it's the same thickness as this. So if you guys need one of these, check it out. I put a link in my description just in case you need one. Now one thing before I put this gasket on here, the new gasket, I am going to go through and kind of wipe this down, get it nice and clean, so that it has a clean surface for the gasket to mate to. You don't wanna spray your brake cleaner in here and get it into the valve assembly because if you do that, you're gonna introduce something that effectively nullifies the purpose of the oil, which is bad, very bad. Now a good friend taught me this a long while ago, but putting the gasket material, really coating this, one, makes this black and it makes it look nicer, but two, it's gonna make a really clean, tight seal between the valve cover and your cylinder head, which I strongly recommend if you don't want things to leak. 
because this is one of the most common places for oil to leak on your car. You can actually lose oil out the back of this and it makes things really smoky, it makes things messy and you'll see oil dripping all the way down to the bottom of the car and it'll look like you're dripping oil off of your drive shaft when you, sometimes it's as simple as a valve cover gasket dripping off the back. So common thing to check for if you have an oil leak, just check the back of your valve cover, you never know. Now as you can see, I'm not like globbing this stuff on here, I'm just getting enough on there to where it makes a nice seal and a nice adhesion surface for your gasket to stick onto the valve cover and then for it to stick onto the cylinder head. And I usually like to cover all the way around the edge as well, just so it's black and it looks nice, doesn't look like you got a big piece of cork in between, although I guess the cork doesn't look that bad, it could look a lot worse. You could be using orange gasket sealer, um, which, please don't do that, looks so bad. Once you've got this done, keep one glove off so you can handle your valve cover, one on so you can handle the gasket, slide this over, make sure it sits right where you want it to sit, yep, nice and tidy, and then I normally switch this glove off because I'm right-handed, I don't know what I was talking about. And then I guide this over the valves and set that down so it sits flush. So as you can see, I'm just tightening these down like normal. Nothing fancy about this step. And then finally the finishing touch, which in this case is my chrome cover which never really gets fully tight on there, and then you're done. You've got your valve cover returned, you've got a brand new seal, and this time, hopefully, it won't leak, but this time we'll also be checking it after a good drive, after it warms up, to see how it runs. Oh yeah, one last thing, just going to reconnect all of these. So four, three, two, and one. And that's all there is to it. So that was it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys a quick thing so you guys can get a taste of what it's like to own a Mini. It's uh, the little things like this that one, always keep you busy on the car, and two, always keep you busy on the car. So there's that. Anyway, check back for more videos soon, and until I see you guys again, motor on.